Hi darlings, welcome back to my channel. This is a brand new camera, brand new quality. Um, I'm hoping it's good, so uh, hopefully. Um, if you wanna see how I turned into this, well, kind of, I kind of show yeah. Um, I kind of went off on a tangent. Uh, but yeah, if you do wanna see that, keep watching. This is a video filming on my new phone slash camera. So I'm a little bit scared about what the quality is going to be like and um, it should be good quality um i'm using the cinematic mode on my phone um rather than the video mode so i'm not sure what's going to happen um i've only got like two ring lights in front of me i've been kind of playing around with lighting because i did have a white backdrop but for some reason the white kind of like bounced the light back so i'm not 100 percent sure what's going to happen I've had to spend money on getting bloody cables left, right and centre, so I'm not sure what that's going on with that. And also in my viewfinder right now, my face looks bright red and blotchy um, and I'm not talking about the acne. From when I watch it back, it's not looking like that, so I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm very excited because going forward, hopefully, it means that it is better quality. I can start doing reviews on like skincare better because we're going to see like with primers, for example, we're going to see if it really does cover pores because bitch, I have pores. There's like a couple of modes that I can do to like zoom in and zoom out, like the auto focus feature and stuff. Um, so yeah, we will see what happens, but for now, I just thought I'd do a really cute, like, Halloween-y vibe and see what comes out of this video. Don't mind my skin. I am on a journey as usual, but we're just going to ignore the skin for now. I've got a couple of um, things that I'm working on um, and a couple of things that I'm trying out, so we'll see let's jump right in shall we so i was going to use the p louise pro palette and um, but i'm not going to use that for now and um, i do want to start using this because it is just super super beautiful and um, but i'm actually going to use oh my god i've got a crack in it i've just realized i've got a crack in the screen in like the little glass thing oh no that's really made me sad and angry so yeah, sadness about that, but I'm actually going to use this palette, which is Jolie Beauty Sorceress palette. Um, as you can see, it's very much Halloween-y. Um, they do have a brand new palette called um, Vampirism that's out as well. Um, but it's really going to be amazing to pair with this because this is like very witchy, very like Halloween-y. It's got some special shades in it, like this shade here. It's very, very, very like metallic. Um, it's a special formula that is close to my heart. Um, and then you've got a couple of color shifting um, shades, which are these two. So that is like a green and kind of like blue shade, but in my, um, as I'm looking at it now, it's purple and like a green. It's just really weird. I love those colours. You've got some glitter shades. And yeah, what I'm going to do today is just like a blocked out brow. I have tried this with bleach brows and I didn't really like how it looked. Um, so I'm not sure whether to do a bleach brow again. But yeah, we're just going to block the brows out for now so I can kind of take it really high up and just see what happens basically so yeah let's shut up and get to it okay so i haven't blocked out my brow for a really long time so this should be fun and um, but i'll kind of show you how i do it Um i don't know what i want to do i really want to do a bleach brow but then i'm kind of like well no because it didn't work out last time and um, so i'm just going to block my brows out and just go from there so i'm just taking a glue i use this one it's from elmer's i've had it a while i think i got it off amazon um, and i'm just literally gonna start gluing my brows down so what i like to do is just do like just kind of stick it on like that and then i'll go in with a spoolie to really glue them down let it dry and then i do it i basically do it about three times 
wait until it's like kind of dry slash tacky and then I'll go in with my powder. Um, so I'll show you what when I get to the powder, basically. Okay, so once we're at this stage, um, I've done it like kind of like three times. Um, my brows are quite like brown and dark, so depending on how dark your brows are, you can kind of go in with like a colour corrector. I don't do that. Um, I probably should, but sometimes it goes right and sometimes it goes wrong. So we're just going to wing it basically. So then next up, taking Studio Fix um, by MAC. This is NC30. So this has quite a nice peachy undertone and it is a foundation powder. So it's going to give us the coverage, but it's also going to help set the brow in place. And basically the yellowy peachy undertone is really going to kind of help colour correct anyway. So just taking a dry beauty blender, I just like rub my sponge in there, get it really coated and then I just literally press it onto the brow. Now the glue will help stick it down um, but you don't want to like rub, just go really gently and just kind of like push the product right into the brow. Like you can see how it kind of like colour corrects it a little bit. Um, and it just gives you the coverage that you need whilst setting everything in place. Um, so I just kind of keep doing this until I'm like happy and then dust away the edges and then I'll show you the next step. Now you will get a couple of stray hairs standing up. Don't worry about this if you do. It is a little bit annoying and I'm sure there is a way to cover it up. But the way I found it is that by the time you've kind of blended in your shadows, you can't really see the brows anyway, because I am going to be going like on top and blending the colours out. Um, so yeah, just try not to worry about it for now. So just taking like a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of going to buff out any of like the edges because we don't want any like powder, any harshness. Now, you can obviously take a makeup wipe and clean around the areas and like clean the glue away which I probably should have done but we're just gonna wing it for now okay so now what I'm gonna do is taking my Peel Wee's base this is base shade 2 and I found that this has again a peachy undertone and um, to like really help kind of color correct but it's also got the coverage to really you know cover the brows now i would be careful with this because it is a wet formula you don't kind of want it to like undo your work if that makes sense so i'm obviously going to show you how to do it but i just take some on the back of my hand i like to put a lot on the back of my hand because i do use quite a bit um, and then taking a flat brush on um, one sec so taking a flat brush like this and i'm just gonna cut it in the product and then i'm going to start patting that onto the brow really really gently and kind of like bring it down onto my eye as well because obviously we need the eyes prepping as well and i was supposed to put some tape down here but i'm just going to wing it and clean it up it's fine so just keep patting if you do get any gaps in the brow don't worry just keep kind of like going just be careful with how much product you're using because like I said, you don't want to undo your work. So once I've got it like that, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and kind of just like press like so. And this, what this will do is it'll press the base into the like little parts where it uncovered. Let me try and come closer so I can show you what I mean. So can you see like kind of here where it's a little bit hurly? So I'm just kind of like doing that so it kind of covers it and you can see where i've got like a little bit of brow hairs kind of sticking up but obviously like i said just do not worry because once you've got the eyeshadow on there you're not going to be able to really tell so getting used to this camera is crazy <laughs> so i'm just going in now blending out the edges of the base because obviously we'll want everything to blend seamlessly and then when we get to the lid I'm just gonna pat that all into place like you would normally with the base. So I do have some stray hairs perking through and it is annoying me, but we're gonna move forward. We're gonna keep going. It's so annoying because I always have one brow that goes better than the other. 
and usually it's my right one but my left one has just gone so much better than my right one i am annoyed but as you can see my brows are kind of like cancelled out so i could have gone in with a color corrector to kind of cancel them out more but because the camera is so high quality it is going to pick up like the more whereas in real life it were you won't really you'll obviously see the texture but you shouldn't really see the color and like i said we are going to be kind of covering it up with product anyway so without further ado let's get into the eyeshadow okay so taking um the p louise by the black base you can go in with just normal um black eyeshadow but i'm going to take the um, base just because it's going to give us more depth and i feel like it blends better as well um, and then i will decide whether or not i want to go in with a pigment later on but for now i'm just gonna try and like kind of wing it so taking a morphe m506 just picking the base up and i'm literally just gonna start putting that all over the lid and then kind of like sculpts out where i want it to go so i want the black to kind of come and end about here for now and um, so I will just put that everywhere and then move on to the next bit. Don't be scared as well about using the bases because that's one thing I've learned is that just don't be scared about them. Um, you can leave them wet and tacky for as long as you need to kind of like blend, blend out and stuff. So just, just have a play about really because that's that's what it's all about is just playing so now we're at this stage i'm just going to start like kind of lightly tapping it into place and then obviously it will look a little bit ashy at first but we are going to set it later on with black shadow um but i don't do it just yet because i like to kind of blend it out a little bit so just picking up a new brush i'm going to blend it out so just taking a morphe m562 these brushes are literally lifesavers guys so if you if you haven't got any in your kit, I highly recommend them. They are an amazing brush. And especially as well, if you are just starting out in makeup, Morphe brushes is literally the way to go, as well as obviously P. Louise. Now, you can buy P. Louise brushes separately, and you can obviously use my discount code, um, which you'll get them cheaper um, so highly recommend both brands absolutely amazing okay so jumping in to the palette so i'm gonna take the shade sabbath which is the black shade and i'm still gonna use that morphe m562 and i'm just gonna start tickling the very edges of this black base and this is the perfect brush to like start tickling your shades with and then this is where you're going to start getting your blend outs as well so just try raising your eyebrow as well as far up as you can and that's what's really gonna you're gonna really like get in there and see where you need to go with your shadows but you can see as well how amazing this black shade is for one but you can see that it's like really intensifying against the base and when you get to around here, don't worry about making mistakes because we can just erase them later on. Okay, so I'm just taking the shade Solstice, Solstice which is this really deep dark shade, um, like a grey. And I'm kind of just like blending it out. It does look crazy at the minute, but it won't do once I'm finished. So then I'm just swiping my brush um, just to clean it. This is a MI3 by the way. Okay guys, so I'm kind of going on a creative tangent, if that's the right word for it. Um, because because my brows haven't stuck down very well here, it's turning a bit crazy. Um, so what I've done is, the blends went a bit weird here, which they don't normally do. So I've basically took the shade Transform, which is... So it's that shade there transform um and basically that looks blue to you guys but when the light hits it it kind of goes from purple to like a blue shade and um, so i just think it's really nice so i've basically brought that right on my brow burn um, and i'm also gonna put some right here and kind of like bring it like up and then I'm gonna mix it in with maybe like a bit of white I'm not 100% sure 
But yeah, I'm just literally going on a creative tangent at the minute just to kind of see what I want to do. Um, and I'm going to add some gems as well. Um, so yeah, who knows <laughs> at this point. I know this was supposed to be a tutorial, but I don't know what I'm doing myself, so I can't really say. So I'll just keep popping back every now and again to tell you what I've done, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just having a bit of fun and having a bit of playtime. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, darlings. This is what we're up against right now. So I'll turn my head so you can see what it's like. Can you see the different colours, how they're like kind of changing? So these top bits here are these pigments, one sec. So these are pigments from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I am an affiliate with Nikia Joy Cosmetics. So if you do want, I'm gonna basically do a massive video on the brand because their loose setting powder is phenomenal. It's one of my favorites ever. So I will be doing a video on them, but um, they do pigments and they've also got a new collection out, which I am receiving in PR. And um, so basically these are the Chroma Shift pigments. So in different lights, um, the change colors. So I will be doing a video on the new collection. Um, but these ones, I, can you tell like, the one at the end shifts from like a green to a purple to a blue and then this one at the front shifts from like a green like a greeny bluey i think it is like, yeah like a greeny blue so all just kind of complements each other really really amazingly especially with like the black lid as well and um, it's literally this wasn't what i set out to do but this is where we're at. Um, I've also added some um, glitter, kind of like on the top, just to make it like blend a little bit more seamlessly. And then I've added some down one ears. So yeah, that is where we're at. So the inner corner ones, I've used the Jolly Beauty palette, and then the top I've used Nikia Joy. But overall, I'm kind of looking in love. So I'm quickly going to do the other eye. Um, there's no point really showing you. I, mean, I might show you the application, I might not. But just in case I do, there will be a video coming on the new Nikki Joy Cosmetics collection. So I will kind of show you in that one. But yeah, I'm gonna go do the other eye because this video is already gonna be long to edit. I hate editing. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the finished look. On camera, it looks disgusting, orange, horrible, um, but I'm not sure what it looks like on camera. Um, like, I mean, I mean, on my viewfinder, it looks disgusting. Um, it just looks weird, but I'm like, I'm hoping on camera it's good. I have took a few pictures um, for my Instagram, so I'm hoping it looks okay. Um, but what do we think? Like the colour shifting, like on this eye it looks blue and then like this bit it looks purple, then it's going from green to blue to just everything you can imagine. It's dark, it's sultry, um, I've done a black lipstick, didn't like the lipstick, got to admit, and then I thought a pop of pink might look quite cute, so I put a bit of a pink pigment on. Um, really need my lips doing again as well, by the way. Had to bring the foundation down my body because I'm not tanned. Um, so yeah, last time I did a video of me in makeup and filmed it on this camera. I did not like how it looked, but hopefully the lighting, the backdrop, everything has made a difference and hopefully it doesn't look as bad as it did. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this is good. So we can class this as kind of like a test video, if you will. Um, this wasn't like, this isn't like my everyday makeup, of course. So I will be doing a video on my everyday makeup just to see what that looks like on camera. But what do we think of this look, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And like I said before, the Nikia Joy Cosmetics um, pigments, will be uh, i will be doing a video a separate video to that but if you do want any um discounts they're all links down below jolie beauty um is ashman and and nikia joy cosmetics is just 
Adam at checkout and you'll save yourself 15% on Nikita Joy Cosmetics and 10% on Jolie Beauty. So yeah guys, I like I said, I will link everything down below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you think of the quality as well, good or bad. I'm sure I'll be able to judge whether it's good or bad when I'm editing it. But yeah, um, uh, and P. Louise as well, if you want any money off P. Louise, that's linked down below as well. So yeah, um, hope you're all good and I will see you hopefully in my next video, hopefully soon. I want to start doing this more often. So yeah, bye guys. Hi darlings, Adam from the future. So going forward, I don't think I'm going to use the cinematic mode on my phone while filming. Um, I just didn't really like how it looked. So yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use that going forward. I think I'm just going to use the regular video. Um, also, lighting situation. Didn't really like the lighting. Kind of washed me out in places. Um, so I'm not sure I'm going to use two ring lights. Um, I've only got one ring light on now. So obviously I don't have makeup on. And that's what I want it to look good. Not really bothered about the skin. Um, but how the makeup looks just kind of matters to me. So I will kind of test out when I wear makeup to see how the one ring light looks. But yeah, let me know what you think about this quality now. Is this better? I know, I know I don't have makeup on, but does it kind of look better? Um, what do you think? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Much love.